The first stage in supercharging the Z800 is to put the operating system onto an MSATA SSD mounted into a PCIe2 slot. Hi there, I'll be Tastic here and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used a free program called AOMI to migrate Windows 10 from an SAS drive to an MSATA SSD. This video is a continuation of the video showing how I bought a really cheap Z800 and the problems I had with it. The Z800 I bought had the operating system installed on the full 2TB SAS drive, not on a partition, making the machine very sluggish. Migrating the operating system to an SSD would make the whole workstation much more responsive, and mounting the SSD on a PCIe2 slot would be faster than using an ordinary SSD running on SATA 2. The MSATA SSD mounts on this adapter very easily, using two little screws. And it's then fitted into a PCIe slot on the Z800. Once that was done, I started Windows 10 and opened AOMI. This is the interface showing the two drives. This is the 2TB SAS drive showing the system installed on the whole drive and this is the small bootloader for it. This is disk 2 which is the MSATA SSD I want to copy the system to. To copy the system I have to shrink the SAS drive down to a manageable size so it will fit onto the much smaller MSATA SSD. To do that I first highlight it and then click on the Resize Move Partition button. Once that's done this box comes up and I can move the slider across until I shrink the SAS drive to a suitable size, in this case just under 116 gig. Then I click OK and I have to go up to the top left hand corner and click Apply to finish the process. Then another dialog box comes up with all the details of the shrink process and if it's correct I click Proceed. Another dialog box comes up explaining that Windows will now go into the PE environment and then reboot. The PE environment is a small program used by developers which allows various operations to be carried out on Windows, in this case Windows 10. Once I click OK, Windows 10 restarts and a small progress bar shows various files being copied. Then this progress bar comes up showing how far the process has gone. Once it's completed, this box comes up and I just clicked restart rather than wait for 30 seconds. Once into Windows, I brought up Iomi. And here you can see that the system partition is now just under 116 gig. Now it's time to copy the operating system to the MSATA SSD. So I go up to the Migrate OS button and click it. That brings up this dialog box and I click Next to continue. Once that's done, I have to choose where to copy the system to, so I click on Unallocated, which is the empty and unformatted MSATA SSD. Once I've chosen the location, I click on Next. Then this dialog box comes up with all the details about converting the MSATA SSD to the primary partition, which will then become the boot drive. Another box comes up and I just click Next, then go up and click on Apply as before. And yet another checkbox comes up and after checking that everything is correct I click proceed. 
Again, I'm told that the PE environment is being created and I click Proceed. Once that's done, Windows restarts and the file copying progress bar shows up. Then AOMI starts the process of copying the operating system. This can take any time from 10 minutes onwards, so I've compressed the timeline here. So far we've only seen the graphical interface AOMI uses, but in some cases you may get the pre-OS environment and see this instead. If you do, it's nothing to worry about, just let it finish and continue as normal. Once everything was done, I clicked the restart button and got back into Windows. Again, I brought up AOMI and this time I can see that the operating system has copied over with both the bootloader and system copied. So now it's time to find out if everything starts up properly, so I close down Windows and take out the 2TB SAS drive. Then I go into the BIOS and reset the boot drive to the MSATA SSD, just to be sure. And it boots up perfectly, and much faster than the 2TB SAS drive. And how fast is it? Well, here's the crystal disk mark reading, which is pretty good, and much better than the reading from the original drive here. So, job done. And just one last disclosure. What you have been watching is a complete recreation in a virtual machine of what actually took place in the real world. I ended up doing it this way because it was almost impossible to get decent quality by taking videos of my monitors. This is the kind of quality you would have seen if I'd done that. Pretty awful. And that is one reason why this video has taken so long to produce. If you're interested in the video, seeing how I did it, and also how you can actually get a video inside a virtual machine, let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you like the musical background. I tried not to make it intrusive. And also let me know if you like the new intro to my channel. The next video in this series on supercharging the Z800 will show you how to create a super hard drive running at about 450 megabyte a second using the RAID facility built into the Z800. But for the moment, thank you for watching this far and take it away Amelia. Hello friends. If you enjoyed our video, can I ask you to give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as a regular viewer. Thank you, and have a lovely day.